Hi guys, welcome to Cinema Shed. I am the one as per usual. And finally, after a long while, I'm reviewing a comic. And today I will be reviewing and telling you all about Eru. First of all, yeah, I'm scratching my head because <laughs> I need to apologize. I haven't done anything comic related in a while. It feels like it's been forever. And that's my fault and circumstances because of Lagos. Like, it's kind of stressful. But I'm, I'm planning on doing better. I'm planning on changing and being even more in your face than I was before. So, jumping right in, Eru was created by Toby Max Ezeobu. And it's being published by Comic Republic. Now, Eru is basically fear. It's fear in Yoruba, anyways. You know, in Yoruba movies, they're like, ah, Eru Bami. Sorry, my Yoruba is bad. But like, ah, Eru Bami, which is basically, I'm scared or I'm afraid or something like that. So, it is that word, Eru. You just picked out. Now, Eru is Eric Kokoi. Eru Kokoi is not a normal man. He doesn't age or sleep. He lectures at the University of Lagos. <laughs> You need like seriously. I mean, if you were any bad on that, that would be way better. Like you are, yeah, repping forever. Anyways, he lectures at the University of Lagos, also doubling as a part-time psychiatrist and a parapsychologist. When night dawns, where creatures hunt corners and crime rears its head, he becomes the one thing any of them will ever fear. He becomes fear itself. Bound by oath to hunt the night as a force of retribution. The people of this city have called him many names, but one echoes the loudest. Eru, fear itself, walks amongst us. Now, in a video I did like a while back, talking about um, the comics that you should be reading, I described Eru as a combination or kind of a fusion between Ghost Rider and Spawn. And when I start talking about his powers and abilities and the things that he can do, then you would understand why. Eru is one of the seven formulas for human emotion. You have empathy, surprise, fear, love, anger, sadness, and joy. And Eru is the embodiment of one of those human emotions, which is fear. So seeing as he is fear itself, he can smell fear from miles away. He can prey on your fears, on your worst fears. He can you know how Ghost Rider has a penal stare where he makes you see all the sins you have committed? Well, Eru has a stare, let me call it the fear stare or something. But he has a stare that makes you see your worst fears. And anytime your fear seeps out, he kind of consumes it. It makes him stronger because he basically eats your fears. If you know um, fairy tale animation, the way Natsu eats flames or Gajil eats iron. So think of Eru as someone who eats fears. And everybody is scared, everybody has fears. So imagine how powerful Eru will be. He has no emotions, he's emotionless. So he doesn't feel anything basically. He, he can't see you suffering. And the only reason why he would save you is not because he's feeling your pain, it's just because he is compelled to hunt people that are bad. He can summon some very crazy, amazing weapons. And he can cast illusions that even blind people will be affected. And in that realm, they would be able to see and hear and do everything. I'm going to the comic review itself. To start with, the dialogue is beautiful. Like the storyline and the writing is amazing. It makes you appreciate our old culture, our old gods that our ancestors worshipped. It makes you kind of appreciate it more. It feels like something Wale Shoinka would write, but without all the serious big grammar and all that. It, it, it hits home, like it gets in touch with the traditional side of you. The character is fascinating. It makes you feel like there's a lot they can do with the character. There is enough to build a very cool world. They've introduced, or at least they've talked about, you know, characters like Madame Koi Koi, Egungu, and all those folklores that we used to tell ourselves when we were small of all these people that used to you know haunt schools or haunt cemeteries or all those kind of things but the one thing i don't understand about the comic or the one thing i do not like about the comic is it is hard to see or know what is happening in battle scenes it is 
I've tried. Like, it took me reading the comic like three, four times to know what was happening in fight scenes. And that is not cool at all, as far as I'm concerned. I had to keep looking like, okay, what is happening right here, right now? Like, I could not see. It was, it felt like, it felt like it was all over the place. But aside that, the comic progressed nicely. The coloring was beautiful. The lettering, everything about the comic, top notch, except the fight scenes. They are extremely hard to know what is happening or to even understand the scope of Eru's powers because it is during fights that you know, okay, these are the kind of things this person can do. But the only thing that I saw him able to do was summon weapons and summon things from another realm which might either be the shadow realm or a realm that he controls the Eru is available it's free to read online on comic republic's website the links to read Eru is in the description below if you have read Eru tell me what you think about the comic tell me what you think about the character do you think for instance Eru can go toe to toe with ghost rider yes let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you think Eru can go toe to toe with ghost rider so um if you're new to cinema shade Hit the subscribe button below, the red subscribe button below and hit the bell right beside it so you don't miss out on the amazing content that I release. And like this video if you enjoyed it and also share it to your other comic lovers. Let us help get Nigerian comics and African comics out there to the world. So till next time, I remain the one from Cinema Shed as per usual and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.